How's it guys? This is the Mavic 2 Gannet installation video. This is little Gannet that we designed for the Mavic 2. It's now a fully integrated unit with a sensor being part of it as we can now use the drone's auxiliary lighting at the bottom to trigger it. Uh, as per all other Gannets, all your drone sensors remain on and active. You do not need to disable anything. Um, disabling any of these bottom sensors, you endanger your drone. Uh, one hard landing and you can lose your gimbal. So it's, it's just not worth it, guys. To install it on your drone, it's as simple as that. You position it in this manner, take the strap, stretch it over, clip it in, and that's it, it's on. Uh, it locates itself very firmly, and it cannot move from there. To complete the installation, you need to come to your drone settings. So you click your settings button there, find your remote settings there, scroll down and find C1, C2 programming there, Pop that open and find uh, bottom auxiliary lighting. Select that option, we programmed both, so we can use either the left or right hand buttons to do the release. So any one of these two buttons clicked once will have a gannet activate. Uh, the Mavic 2 is very nice in the sense that it now shows you on screen what's happening with these lights. So clicked once, it goes to auto mode. Clicked again, it goes, turns the lights on. Clicked again, turns the lights off. So the next one will be auto mode. Next one will be lights on, and next one will be lights off. So we now switch the gannet on. There we go. Uh, no light, it will be open. Clicked. Lights on, closed. Lights off, open. Lights on, closed. Lights off, open. And it's as simple as that. Okay, just to show you, uh, in the settings for the... Um, for obstacle avoidance, everything remains on. If you go to advanced settings, this one, landing protection is on and uh, uh, vision positioning is on. Both those are needed for the drone to hover stable and also to perform soft landings. Okay, a little bit more about the gannet. Uh, a gannet uh, has its own built-in battery that needs to be charged. To charge it, you need to switch it off, which is the switch to the back. This is the supplied charger that we give you each, each gannet. Simply plug it into the charging port, there we go, and that will turn on uh, a light inside your, uh, the USB charger. If you now plug this into a power outlet like your computer or your cell phone charger, this light will go off. Once it comes back on, it is fully charged. Um, from empty to full takes only about 30 minutes and you will do more than 50 drops on a single charge so you fish all weekend um, on a single charge uh, the drone itself with a gannet installed we have lifted 1.2 kilos as maximum load however this drone is very intelligent and once it starts getting motor overspeed warnings for too long it starts auto landing then and there to protect the drone uh, we get these warnings from 800 grams, they start. So we do not recommend you flying uh, anything heavier than 700 grams absolute maximum as a bait. Uh, we've done this with a 500 gram bait and a 200 gram lead to, to almost 400 meters with great success in very strong winds. Um, from one charge on a drone battery, uh, we have done uh, four bait drops to uh, distances between 300 and 500 meters with a four baits uh, and the battery was still at 40 percent so this battery can easily handle four to five baits per per charge and that's it guys happy fishing tight lines